White News first showed you this Charlotte County haunted house just before Halloween, but now they're dealing with something scarier than the werewolf, burglary. Thanks for staying with us. I'm Lois Tomey. I'm Chris Safadi. The man behind the scares, John Walsh, made this Facebook post yesterday. Walsh is asking for help finding two animatronics he says were taken from the lawn. But it's important to note he's not filed a police report. Wink News reporter Annalise Iraola joins us live from Port Charlotte. And Annalise, how does somebody make off with two giant animatronics? Lois and Chris, John Walsh doesn't know how his Halloween decorations were stolen. He's missing two animatronics, a three-headed dog and a six-foot clown. John has a ring camera, but it wasn't facing towards where those Halloween decorations were kept on the lawn. All he knows is that they went missing a few days before Halloween, and he hasn't been able to get them back. Missing and wanted, John Walsh is looking for this animatronic three-headed dog and a six-foot clown. I mean, I've been doing this for 10 years, and this is the first time something has been taken. It happened just days before Halloween. Uh, we throw a haunted house for the kids and, you know, families that want to come by. Like, it's wheelchair friendly. Everybody that wants to come can come. John's haunted house is open to the public free of charge. All he asks for is... We asked for donations and we raised an awful lot of food for the animal shelter. While someone may have taken off with a couple of Halloween decorations. I'm not that mad. I mean, the way I look at it is, you know, if you bring it back or whoever finds it, I'll give $200. If you're the guy that took it, I'll still give you 200 bucks. Just bring it back, no questions asked. I mean, what are you going to do with it? He doesn't sweat the small stuff and hopes that someone will return his three-headed dog and six-foot clown. I didn't report it to the police. I'm hoping they put it up for sale online. No luck. Nobody put it up for sale. After weeks of searching online, he went to Facebook, and now we're sharing it with the community in case someone knows where they are or who has them because... You're not taken from me. You're taken from the kids. I mean, that's what we do all this for. John's haunted house is free to the public. He says if someone is watching who took the decorations or knows who did, just bring them back. Live in Port Charlotte, Annalise Iraola, Wink News.